Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now we will be doing question number 3. The statement says an elastic band which is 70 to 70 meter long is stretched to 90 centimeter. Find the percentage increase in its length. So, first we need to see what is the formula for percentage increase. It will be how much is the increase over original length into 100%. This is the formula for percentage increase. Increase over original length into 100%. Now, first we need to see how much is the increase. So, to find the increase, we know what is the original value. It is given 70 to 70 meter long. So, after when it is increased, stretched, it is to 90 centimeter. This is final value 90 centimeter. So, how much is the increase in length? So, we will deduct the original value from the final value it will be 90 minus 72 so 18 centimeter is the increase in length okay so now I will put the information the numbers in the formula percentage increase which is increase increase how much 18 the original length, original length is 72 into 100 percent. Now we will be simplifying 18 ones are 18, 18 fours are 72, 425s are 100. So 25 percent. This is the answer for question number 3. I will recap this question. The question was that an elastic band which is 72 centimeter long is stretched to 90 centimeter find the percentage increase in its length so its original length was given it was 72 centimeter when we stretched it it became 90 centimeter so there was an increase in the length so we deducted uh, original length from the final length so we got 18 so 18 centimeter was the increase in length then we need to find the percentage increase okay so the formula is increase divided by original length into 100 percent so we plug in the values increase 18 divided by original length 72 into 100 percent we just made simple calculations and we got the answer 25 percent okay so again you need to understand what is given in the statement if you can understand the statement then solution part is very easy simple simple basic calculation that you do and to get the answer but yes you need to understand the statement now we'll be doing question number four question number four is very easy but they have given the statement very long so that you should think that it is very very difficult question no it is very easy question so we'll start actually 90 percent of the statement is of no use just they have increased the statement they have made the question in this way so you should feel a fear that it is a very big question otherwise it is very small question 90 to 95 percent information is irrelevant of no use okay we will start in singapore the as you say scholarship is given out to the top 10 percent of students within each level and stream in every school this information has no value okay there was an increase in the value of 
the award from 2008 to 2009. The table shows the value of this award for each level in 2008 and 2009. This whole information has, there is no information. These 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, I was 6 lines. These are useless. There is no use of these lines. Just they have written these lines to make you scared, to make you feel fear that this is very big question. First six lines, irrelevant, no use. So only if you see the table, still they have made this table very difficult. Okay. The easiest thing is that they are saying that there are levels. Okay. We will make this table simple for you. There are levels. Okay. There is 2008 and there is 2009. Okay. If there is one primary level, okay. This is just to confuse you. This is a primary level one to six. It was three hundred dollars, and then four hundred dollars. Okay. This is the amount of scholarship. Second level was. Secondary level 1 to 5. Here there was 500 here, and we don't know here. Then there was primary level 1 to 6. It was 250 here, and 350 here. Then there was secondary level 1 to 5, $300. And four hundred dollars. This whole information of no use. Okay. The question is: Given that there was an increase of thirty percent in the value of award from two thousand eight to two thousand nine, from two thousand two to eight to the nine, for a secondary one student, this is second secondary one student. Okay. In the top five percent. Find the value of the award for a secondary one student in the top 5% in 2009. Only what they are asking is that if you get $500 in 2008 and you get an increase of 30% in the amount, how much? you will be getting next year. This was the simple question. So I told you, uh, all the information was useless. First five, six lines in theory. Then table itself, they are very difficult. No use of this information, no use of this information. Only the requirement is that if a student gets $500 in 2008, then if he gets increase of 30% in the scholarship, how much money he will be getting in 2009? So question is 2008 $500 and 2009 we need to increase it by 30% and we will be getting the money in 2009. So first we will find 30% of this which is the increase. It becomes 150. So in 2009, we will be getting 500 plus 150. It becomes 650. This was the answer for part one. Very simple. So I told you that 95 more than 95 percent of the wording and table they were just to make you feel fear. Okay. It was very simple. You are getting 500 in 2008, just increase it with by 30% and you will be getting 650 in next year. Okay. So similarly, part two, 2 of this question says that find the percentage increase in the value of the award from 2008 to 2009 for a primary 4 student, primary 4 student in the next 5%, primary 4 student in the next 
this was this is his next 5% it is written in the table okay we need to see primary four student this is primary 1 to 6 now we will be talking about only this one this is irrelevant now this is irrelevant now this is no use okay so they are saying find the percentage increase just we need to see that 2008 he was getting 300 so in 2009 he was getting 40 how much is percentage increase okay it's so very simple the formula for percentage increase is increase divided by original value multiply by 100 percent okay how much is increase so we can see increase is final value is 400 minus original value is 300 100 average is increase so increase is 100 original value is 300 into 100 percent it goes with this 100 over 3 is 33.33 percent so this was the part 2 so both the parts were very easy just they made the question very lengthy so that mentally you feel that it is a very big question and very difficult question but otherwise it is a very small question and it is a very easy question okay so we have done both the parts for question number four now we will be doing question number five we are doing exercise 8b because the chapter is percentage keep on, keep on watching the videos if you feel these are useful like the videos share the videos and subscribe the channel number five says the price of a desktop computer the price of a desktop desktop computer decreases from 130 1360 to 1020 so original price was originally it was 1360 so after decrease final price was 1020 find the percentage decrease in the price so we need to find percentage decrease formula for percentage decrease is decrease over original value into 100 percent this is the formula for percentage decrease so first we will be finding the decrease decrease is original value minus original minus final value original was 1360 and final was 1020 we'll calculate 1360 minus 1020 340 is the decrease. Now we replace the values, plug in the values in this formula. Decrease is how much? 340. Original value was 1360 into 100%. 0 goes with this. Then 217 is 34. 17 was 17, 17 was 68, 25, it is 25%. So percentage decrease in the value of desktop computer was 
So I'll recap this question. It was mentioned in the statement that the price of a desktop computer decreases from $1360 to $1020. Find the percentage decrease in this price. So first we need to remember what is the formula for percentage decrease. Formula is decrease over original value into 100%. So then we'll be finding the decrease in the value. We'll, we will subtract 1020 from 1360 so we got 340 which is the decrease then we plugged in the values in the formula decrease is 340 original value is 102 1360 into 100% we just made the simple calculations and we got the result 35% now we'll be doing question number 6 Question number six says that a car was bought in 2009 for $120,000. In 2009, so value is given as $120,000. Its value, in 2010, its value decreased by 20%. In 2010, value decreased by how much? 20% decrease in value in 2011 its value decreased by 10% of its value in 2010 find the value of the car at the end of 2011 so we'll be doing this question gradually the first part is a car was bought in 2009 with this money in 2010 its value decreased by 20% so first we'll be finding its value in 2010 okay so the original value was 120,000, decrease was percentage 20%. So we need to find the decrease in terms of numbers. It is 20% of 120,000, 20 over 100 into 120,000 becomes 24,000 so decrease was 24,000 so if its value is 120,000 in 2009 so what will be the value in 2010 it will be 120,000 minus 24,000 it becomes 96,000. So, the value of car which was 120,000 in 2009, when we decreased it by 20%, it became 96,000 in 2010. This was first part. We have divided this question in two parts for our convenience. The second part says, in 2011, now we will be talking about now the value of the car is 96,000 in 2010. In 2011, its value decreased by 10% of its value in 2010. 2010 it was this, it was decreased by 10% from this value. So find the value of the car at the end of 2011. We need to find the value in 2011. Again, first we will be calculating the decrease in value. Decrease is 10% of 96,000. It becomes 10 over 100 into 96,000. It becomes 9,600. Okay. Now, how much will the price in 2011? It will be 96,000 minus 9,600. Okay. So, we will be calculating using the calculator that how much is the value after deducting 9600 becomes 96,000 minus 9600 it is 86,400 so the value is this is the answer I will recap the question for you it's a very easy question. 
It's a long statement. A car was bought in 2009 for $120,000. <coughs> it is the price in 2009. Then it was decreased by 20% down. So we found the decrease 20%, 20% of this value, 20 over 100 into this, we got 24,000. So we deducted 24,000 from this original value. Now in 2010, its value is this one, okay? Second part says, in 2011, the value decreased by 10% of its value in 2010. From this value, it decreased by 10%. So we need to find the value in 2011. So here, we will find 10% of this, that is 9600. This is the decrease, 9600. We subtracted 9600 from this value and we got 86,400. This is the answer. So this is the value of car in 2011. The value of car in 9 was this, in 10 was this, and in 11 it is this. Okay. So this is how to solve this question. So we have completed for six questions so far. In this exercise, the most important thing is to get a sense understand the statement of the question if you can easily grasp understand the statement then the solution part is not difficult question number seven says 45 percent of the students who take part in the creative writing competition are boys so it is mentioned that 45 percent of Students, they are boys. It is mentioned that 45% of students who take part in a creative writing competition are boys. It means 45% of students are boys. Okay. If 135 boys take part in the competition, okay, if the boys are how much? One, how many boys? 135 boys. They take part in the competition. Find the total number of students. So, students we don't know. It is x. Half is multiplied. 45%. So, they are saying that 45% of the students who took part in the creative writing competition are boys. 45% of students is equal to boys. Okay. Then they say, if we know that boys are 135, boys are 135. So how many are the total students? So we need to find the students. It is x. 45% of x is 135. We'll be solving 45 over 100 into x is equal to 135. Now we'll shift this 100 to this side. It is being divided here. When it goes to other side, it will be multiplied. 45 is multiplied with x. When it goes to other side of the equation, it will be divided. Now we will be Simplifying, 5 9 is a 45, 520, then 9 1 is a 9, 9 1 is a 9, 9 5 is a 45, 300, okay? So x is how what? Students, number of students, how many total students? 300, okay? I recap this question. Statement says 45% of the students who took part, who take part in a creative writing competition are boys. 45% of students is equal to boys, it is given. If 135 boys take part in the competition, find total number of students who take part in the competition. So they told us that boys are 135, 45% is given, half is multiplied. Students we don't know, these are x, okay? So 45% of x is equal to 135. 45% multiplied by x is equal to 135. Then 45% means 45 over 100. Then we took these numbers to other side and we solved, made simple calculations and we got the number 300. So x is equal to 300. Okay. Now we are done with question number 7. Now we will be talking about question number 8. Question number 8 says, 
a house cost 36 percent more today than when it was built when it was built it was 100 percent house was how much value at the time of completion it was 100 percent but now a house cost 36 percent more today so today it is 36% more. Now its value is 100% plus 36%, 136%. So today its value is how much? 136%. Okay. If the cost of the house today is 333,200, okay, cost today is 33. 200 find its cost when it was built okay so now today's cost is this and today it is this both these are equal so we will say that 136% is equal to this value because they told us that when it was built it was 100% but now today it is 36% more so we added 100, 36% to 100% we got 136% so today it is 136% today it is expensive they have told us the value for today 333200 it means 136% is equal to 333200 okay so we need to find the value when it was built so we need to say we need to find the 100% value okay what we'll do is we will be finding 1% of value when we talk about the 1% if 136 is too big 1% will be very small so this value we will be dividing this by 136 so this answer will be 1% okay so we will calculate this value by using the calculator so what we'll do is triple three two hundred divided by one thirty six it becomes two four five zero. So two four five zero this is one percent. Now we need to find hundred percent. If one percent is this, so hundred percent will be more. So this one percent we'll divide it by with hundred. So we'll be getting 245000, 245,000. So this is the answer for this question. Again and again, I'm telling you that for access 8P, the major focus is that we need to understand the statements. If we can understand the statements very well, then solution part is very simple based on the simple, very simple calculations. So this is the same, one of the same questions, question number eight that you need to understand the wording, the statement. A house cost 36% more today than when it was built. When it was built, it was 100% or it is more. So it is 136% today. Also, the today's value is given in numbers 333200. Today, this is this and today this is this. These are equal. So 136% is equal to this value. So we need to find the value when it was built, 100%. Okay. So we'll be finding the 1% of this. If 136 is this one, so we'll divide this with 136, we'll be getting this, this is 1%. So we we'll need 100%, we'll multiply this with 100 and we'll be getting 245,000, okay? This is the answer for question number eight.